was a beautiful day at the family farm. The sheep and cattle were grazing happily in the field. But what was Roy going to do today? Good morning, everyone. Tech hooted his horn as he drove out of the machine shed and across the farmyard. As he was passing the tool shed, he heard a hammering noise. So he poked his nose in to see what was going on. What are you making, Roy? asked Tech. But Roy didn't answer him. He just walked out holding a huge piece of wood in his hands. Well, what do you think of that, Tech? asked Roy. A piece of wood? What is it for? A sign with a bull on it, of course, said Roy. Oh, a sign to warn people to keep out of the field where Benji the bull is grazing. That's right, Tech. So I guess it's clear enough for people to understand. Oh, yes, completely clear, agreed Tech. Will you and Tommy help me put it up, asked Roy. Of course we will, said Tech. He drove across the farmyard to the machine shed to fetch Tommy trailer. Tommy, Tommy, do you want to help me and Roy with something? You mean take a ride, asked Tommy lazily. No, we need to place a sign in the field. I really don't feel like it right now. I think I'll just stay here if that's okay. But before Tommy could make any more excuses, Tech hooked him up and hauled him out of the machine shed. A mallet and a hammer. That's all I need now, said Roy. Don't forget the sign, Roy, shouted Tech. I knew I'd forgotten something. Thanks, Tech. A sign? asked Tommy. Yes, to warn people not to go into Benji the Bull's field, said Tech, as he pulled Tommy along. Benji the bull? Tommy shuddered. I don't want to go into the field where Benji the bull is. And you shouldn't go there either, Tech. You know that bulls go mad when they see Red, and Benji will be angry when he sees you. But Benji the bull isn't in the field yet, said Tech. Do you want to place your sign here, Roy? asked Tech. No, I think we should put it next to the gate over there, said Roy, and he walked across the field. I'm not going over there, shouted Tommy the trailer. I'm not going into any field where there's a bull. Benji the bull is very dangerous. How many times do we have to tell you, silly Tommy? Benji the bull isn't in the field yet. Oh, well, uh, where is he? In a field far away with the cows said Tech. Phew, thank goodness for that, said Tommy the trailer. Come on then, Roy called. We're coming, said Tech, driving across the field after him. There we go. Now it will be clear to everyone, right? Asked Roy. Right, replied Tech. You only need to take one look at that sign, said Tommy the trailer, to know that you should run away as quickly as possible. That's what I would do. After Roy made sure to close the gate tight, the three of them went back across the field to fetch the cows.
Have they gone into the field? asked Tommy. Yes, they have, said Tech. Well, thank goodness for that, said Tommy. I certainly wouldn't like to come face to face with Benji the Bull. No way. The three of them watched the bull and his family grazing in the field. and sheep were not the only animals on the field at the family farm today. There was also a small purple tent way out. And yes, someone was even inside of the tent. Ah, what a beautiful day, said Hitch, stretching his arms wide, accidentally hitting Hike on the nose. Ow, yelled Hike. Roy was about to head back to the house for dinner when Tech asked something. Can we go for a walk in the fields, Roy? Well, of course you can. But be sure to stay away from Benji the Bull's field, said Roy. Oh, don't worry. We won't go anywhere near that field. Tommy the trailer is too afraid. So Tommy and Tech drove across the farmyard. Where would you like to walk first? Asked Tech. Let's visit Tom Jack, said Tommy the trailer excitedly. Tech hauled Tommy behind him. Tech noticed that Tommy the trailer was much easier to pull when he was going somewhere he wanted. said Nell very quietly. What's up, Nell? Why are you whispering? asked Tech. Has he gone yet? asked Nell. Who? asked Tech. Quack, quack. Well, that big bull, of course, quacked Tom Jack. Quack, quack. He, he is so big that he threw a giant shadow across the grass as he passed, and, and quack, quack. Well, you don't need to worry anymore, said Tech. Benji is safely away in his field. Oh, Oh, good, barked Nell. Tech and Tommy continued on their way across the field. After lunch, Hitch and Hike decided to go for a walk, too. Wait for me, shouted Hike. <sighs> mm. By now, Tech was a little out of breath because he had been pulling Tommy all over the field. Just then, Hitch and Hike passed by. Ah, hello, Tommy, said Hitch to Tech. Ah, uh, hello, Tech, said Hike to Tommy. No, no, I'm Tech. And I'm Tommy. Ah, yes, yes, of course, said Hitch and Hike. Well, we'd better be on our way. Goodbye to you both. Come on, Hike, said Hitch. The gate's over here, and off they went. Galloping gaskets! They're heading into Benji the Bull's field, shouted Tech. And the little tractor and trailer hurried after them. No, 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 they shouted. Don't go into that field! 
But even though Tommy shouted as loudly as he could and Tech hooted his horn, neither Hike nor Hitch heard them. They were too busy talking and they both climbed over the gate. Then they started to walk across the field. Oh, now what should we do? Asked Tech in horror. They've gone into Benji's field, said Tech. And Hitch is wearing a bright red coat, said Tommy. But it didn't matter what color their clothes were. Benji the bull did not like seeing anyone in any color on his field. Quick, we'd better tell Roy, said Tech. They drove off like the wind all the way to the farmyard. Oh, look, said Hitch. There's a buffalo over there. No, 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 that's not a buffalo. That's, that's a bull. Ah! The two screamed and ran as fast as their legs would carry them. Roy, Roy, beep, beep, called Tech and Tommy. Dear me, what's the matter, asked Roy as he came out to meet them. Hitch and Hike, they've gone into Benji the Bull's field. But before Roy had a chance to do anything, Hitch and Hike rushed past. Bull, they shouted. You shouldn't have gone into his field. Didn't you see the sign, asked Roy, shaking his head. What sign, asked Hitch and Hike. What sign? Beep, beep. Tech hooted his horn loudly after them. How did they not see the sign? Tech, Roy called out. But it was too late. Tech was following after Hitch and Hike all the way from the family farm, hooting his horn loudly the whole way. He would make sure that they learned to read and obey all the signs on the family farm so there would be no more trouble.